First at 10, two people ejected and several others hurt in a frightening highway crash on I-10 near the state line on their way to New Orleans. Officials say the bus was carrying students who were on vacation. Well, obviously, this is still a very active scene. We're learning new details about the crash tonight. Those two victims airlifted are at University Medical Center in New Orleans right now. That's where we find WDSU's Jonah Gilmore. Jonah, what's the latest? Well, Gina, right now we know a student and the bus driver are in critical condition here at UMC. According to our NBC affiliate in Biloxi, that student taking the will of the bus when the driver was ejected. A charter bus carrying 56 University of South Carolina students was on its way to New Orleans when a tire reportedly blew out. According to the Mississippi Highway Patrol, the bus lost control and hit a concrete barrier, injuring 11 people. Nine of the 11 were taken to a hospital in Mississippi, but one student and that driver had to be airlifted here to New Orleans. Mississippi State Police identified the driver as 55-year-old Tina Wilson of Roebuck, South Carolina. According to the University of South Carolina, the students were members of the Sigma Pi Epsilon fraternity. In a statement, the university says in part, USC is working closely with local authorities on the scene to obtain updates on our students and to assist in whatever capacity we can. Our thoughts go out to the students involved in the accident and those affected by it. According to NBC affiliate WXXV, one of the students actually jumped in to help when the bus lost control, steering the wheel and bringing the bus under control. The Sigma Pi Epsilon fraternity also releasing a statement saying we commend the SIGEP member who acted instantaneously to take control of the bus and prevent further tragedy. We will continue to work with the University of South Carolina and local authorities to support the physical and emotional health of our students and guests. Now, we're told those remaining students were taken to a school in Bay St. Louis, and we just got an update saying those students actually arranged their own transportation away from that school. As for the two in critical condition here at UMC, we will continue to monitor their conditions and bring you the very latest as we learn more. We're live outside University Medical Center, Jonah Gilmore, WDSU News. And of course, we are still following this story and we'll keep you updated on air and online as we learn more details about the victim's condition. Follow us on WDSU mobile app.